hills. That's where they have a, you know, a restaurant there. And they usually have around uh, oh, 20, 25 people there. I've been to it there a couple of times. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but I've never, never run into anybody I know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this will be something that I'll take down there that they won't have, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Unless somebody else has an idea what goes on there. Well, that's, that's custom made just for you. There's no other... Well, why do you know? That's an original. Huh? Yeah, you got the original. Thank the original you. book. You can have them sign that. Oh. Yeah, there's lots of room in the back for people to sign. If you want to have any of the, the Cabot sailors uh, autograph the back of that for you, that'd be pretty yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Lots of room back there. I will. Uh, I uh, had kept contact with one guy uh, that, that I knew of, and he don't answer me anymore. I I wouldn't be a bit surprised he's died. Yeah. Uh, but they have. Uh, well, I get a newsletter there every so often, every other month I think it is, and uh, they tell people that died, uh, people that don't. They now they joined with another ship of the same same time. There were eight of these made. They were cruisers in the uh, shipbuilding place where they were making them. Yeah. The, the contract called for eight, but they found out that what they needed was aircraft carriers. Yeah. So they redesigned those ships. They already had the uh, uh, keels laid on them and so forth. Yeah, they, uh, they were in the middle of building that when the Lexington sunk in the Battle of the Coral Sea. And that was the thing that made them decide that they needed more aircraft right carriers when the Lexington went down. Yeah, they were putting these eight out about one every two months. Yeah. Because I got transferred to another one. Princeton. Yeah. And while I was going to radar school, which was highly confidential in those days, Top secret, mention, huh? You couldn't even mention the... But that's what you were doing, huh? Yeah. Uh, and it was up at uh, MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And they had a research lab right down on the ocean so they could try these out. And we were learning to operate that new ship. Uh, that new uh, radar. Yeah, yeah. Well, I caught pneumonia. <coughs> Ooh. And uh, I wound up in the hospital and uh, almost died. Ooh. I had a temperature of 106 for a week. Oh, that's bad for an <laughs> And when I uh, recovered again, that's when, oh, oh, I can remember going like this and uh, looking in the mirror and going like this, and I have a handful of hair. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Well, oh, uh, you got me. Uh, are you waiting for me to? No, I'm videoing. Oh, you're videoing. Yep. She's got down every word you said for the yeah. FBI. You've already <laughs> told everybody you're you were in radar now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, on the Roosevelt, I couldn't get into the radar team because there was the quota was already filled. Yeah. And. They put me down in the engine room, and I was really a sad <laughs> sailor, I tell you. And one of the guys said, oh, go tell it to the chaplain. I don't want to hear it anymore, because he was in the same fix that I was. Yeah, yeah. I, and I, you know, I got thinking, well, that's a good idea. I'm going up and see the chaplain. And I went up and told him my story. And. Uh, he started to ask me questions, and I guess he went down and looked at my records to see if I was a dumbbell or <laughs> what. And he come back and he said, uh, have you had any uh, experience of typing? And I said, yeah, I had a typing uh, a course in my senior year in high school. I graduated last year. and. Uh, he said, well, that's good. You know anything about the Dewey system? Dewey said, Decimal, right? Dewey Decimal system. 
And I said, you mean setting up uh, libraries or something like that? And he said, yeah. And I said, no, I don't know anything about it. But I said, it won't take me long to learn. <laughs> but I, I, uh, I'm a quick learner. <laughs> right, because I was suspect, uh, kind of suspicious why he was asking me all of it. And he said, well, how would you like to come up and be my assistant? I said, oh, man, I would really like that because that dirty old engine room, and it was so hot down there, and uh, I got out of there, and it was wonderful. Oh, I just dropped my Henrietta egg. Oh. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. I, what can I say except thank you and God bless you for <laughs> I never seen anything like this before. Well, hopefully, you'll never see anything like it again either. <laughs> Boy, that is. Hopefully, that'll be the, that'll be it. <laughs> marvelous.